What's up guys, how we doing? Robbie RNG Games, I know it's been a while, but I just wanted to show you this. I got these booster boxes, wave two of Battle Styles, a while back. Now, I can't sell these to customers. L look at this, if a customer got this, they would think it's fake. I mean, are you out of your mind? Look at this, look at the side. What? is this look at all of this stuff look at it look how would I be able to ship this to a customer look at all this so we're gonna open it we're gonna play oh my god this is ad this is insane we're gonna do a little profit loss we're gonna open up all the packs see what we get and go with that so yeah just gonna open it because I cannot ship this to a customer no way so let's just go for it. Oh my god, what a mess. This is horrible, 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 horrible. But how's everyone doing? What's going on? Let's check the packs. Are the packs destroyed? Uh, that goes on the floor. It's, oh my lord, look at this mess. Wow. Oh my god, I gotta clean up after this. I was just gonna blow through this real quick. Real quick. No card tricks. We don't do that stuff here. All right. So, yeah. Basically, um, this second wave of Battle Stars, also the... Um, oh, we got Flapple. Also, um, the second wave of Vivid Voltage is pretty much the same uh, quality-wise. Oh, wow. Tarantor V. Okay. So I've been seeing a lot of videos um, coming up of the Vivid Voltage. Um, okay, nothing. Of Vivid Voltage, um, pretty much the quality control on that. It's pretty much every second wave. Like the first wave is good, just the second wave is so bad. I don't know, like who's actually printing second waves. Kingdra, nothing good. But they need to stop because there's literally no way that I'd be able to sell that to someone. I, I, I really... How? If you got that in the mail, comment down below. If you got that in the mail, would you think... Oh, nice. Uh, would you think it was legit? Because I, I sure as hell wouldn't. There's no way in my right mind that I would think that that is a um, legit box of Pokemon cards. How would you think that? You've seen the condition of it. It looked like it was resealed on the side, like it was heat sealed. But, nope. I'll post a short of, because uh, I, I got these a while ago, um, but I just, they've been sitting on them because I was just disgusted by them. Uh... And you guys, this is, there's nothing, you know, <laughs> there's nothing that the distributor could do or Pokemon. It's just, that's it. You get that as a store and that's it. It's yours now. There's literally nothing you can do about it. So, I mean, I guess you could, I mean, there's really nothing you could do about it. The distributor's not going to do anything. And Pokemon sure as hell ain't going to do anything. Uh, because... Pretty much they are working on all cylinders right now. But it is what it is. I mean, oh, Victini. Um, yeah, so I'll put the link in the in the description of the actual me unboxing the two cases when I unbox them. But um, yeah, I mean, it was terrible. Pretty much as soon as I opened the cases, it just started snowing. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, I thought I saw something else. It just started snowing. Like that, the Pokeball came flying off, which also, I don't know, it might... If you think about it, and pretty much only one wave of Battle Styles was pretty much, <laughs> in my opinion, sellable condition. This second wave, unless I got a bad batch, but I see everyone posting videos of oh nice ah, that's not really that nice um of pretty much uh 
battle styles, and it's pretty much the same thing. That and the, the second wave of the Vivid Voltage that just came out recently, or a third wave, I forget. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. So, in my opinion, uh, battle styles might be a good, especially at the price it is now, might be a good uh, thing to pick up uh, to sit on if you get one, or if you had one from the first wave. Uh, like the Pokeballs and all the security seals and all that stuff were in pretty good condition. They weren't coming off, not like this. We are getting hosed on this box, by the way. Uh, oh, okay, not that good, but we'll take it. But yeah, so we're doing a little like uh, profit loss thing. Pretty much if you were to buy this box on the open market, could you get a profit? I enjoy these. I enjoy the the um, financial aspect of these things too. But yeah, if you got this in the mail, you bought it. You spent your hard on cash, eighty nine, ninety bucks, ninety nine bucks, whatever you paid for it, and it showed up looking like that. What would you say? I'd be like, uh, no, thank you. Uh, you are getting this back, sir. <laughs> so, I had to open it. I was like, there's no way. I mean, it was either open it, open it or you just sell it for packs, pretty much, at that point. And I'd rather open it, have a little fun. I wish I didn't, though, because we are getting... Duty. Wow. <laughs> Two more packs left, and we haven't really gotten much of anything of notoriety. But, then again, there's really nothing much in this set. All right, last pack. Come on. Let's get something good. Nothing. Wow. We're going to go through all the value, and then we'll get right back to it. Well, all right. We got the math here. So, we got code cards. Nine bucks. 36 code cards. We got bulk. Pretty much 25 bucks. Single Strike Mustard, $3.50. Corviknight VMAX, $3.50. Victini VMAX, $4.33, and all the Vs combined, $7.29. So, if you were to buy this, would you be able to make money? Absolutely not. $52.62. Guys, this box sucked. No wonder why it was sealed like that. Jesus Christ. All right, see you in the next one. Goodbye.